Daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Today is the 3rd of April uh, 2023. So, many opposition uh, citizens coalition for change, Triple C, says three activists were flogged by suspected and pay of supporters in Mutare on Saturday. The victims, according to Triple C national spokesperson Fazema Eri, were attacked as soon as they left the party's internal meeting. Mayere said the attackers are well known and the matter has been reported to the police. We have received a report that known ZANPF thugs unlawfully parked roads and violently attacked Triple C as Zimbabwe members who were leaving an internal meeting. Three Triple C members were beaten with logs. The matter was reported to the police. No action taken so far, she said on Twitter. Mayere said another ZANPF official was caught on camera inciting violence and also threatening uh, to kill opposition members. The incident took place yesterday. The ZANPF official member is caught on camera inciting violence and threatening murder. Dinokudamburai Ndiruan. Dinokurai, he says, our peace monitors brought calm to the situation and secured medical attention. For the injured, said Mahiri. Manikaland police spokesperson Norbert Muzondo said, I cannot comment because I've no facts at the moment. The attack comes two months after seven elderly Triple C members from Rewa were attacked by suspected ZANPF officials. The political space continued to shrink for the opposition, which has had over 70 meetings blocked or banned by the police for several reasons. Some of the meetings are interrupted by violence suspected ZANPF activists often leaving numbers injured. In January this year, anti riot police storm Triple C legislator Costa Machinkauta's body home and arrested the party organizing secretary and lawmaker Amos Ibaya together with 24 opposition activists who were holding an internal meeting. Machinkauta and the lawyer who was hired to represent the activists also get arrested later before they were charged for holding an unsanctioned meeting and disorderly conduct respectively. Triple C claims the Link Party is running scared as general elections are to be held in a few months time. So guys, that's the latest here. We wish a speedy recovery uh, to the activists Roa uh, on Saturday. You know, but nothing serious, but um, the report was made at uh, Zetara P uh, in Mutare. So be keeping you guys up to date here with the latest on uh, Prince Melanie Entertainment TV, on daily news, breaking news, everyday news, in your political violence. I think we've talked a lot about it since last year, last year, but one, but one actually, in political violence. I mean, all political parties need to come together and speak about it. Not Kumaralis or whatsoever, but they need to have uh, something like a conference whereby Tunonama opposition political parties, the ruling party, the Svart Pans number one, Ashtawara is who are under the no to political violence. Until then, Changura Bachungo na Shinguitika, Mujibo Zagasena Siena. Yes, of course, Amnanga Guano Ashtawara Ajizoni, a no to violence, no to violence, a Chamisa, no to violence. But on the ground, on one, our terror, on one, very brainwashed. I want to think with you, Atonam Nagapega, Shetty Red, and a yellow and a orange, Ato Mutengesi, Ato Manduaku. I mean, come just a political party. Yes, Mwaki Zanoako. Desire of Hako and member of Tino Zana Quatunova, Tino Zana Quatunova, who didn't get in with the prince. I mean, Tino Zana Quatunova. So now we are going to elections, I hope it's an amazing. So why is it so to get a test in the rounder in which it is you? Congo Serra to the Kuma, but to no supporter as Tirivano and which it so got it all in the comment section. This is a daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Manager Semi TV. We we'll keep you guys up to date with the latest. We hope the police can act on this. We hope the police will arrest the perpetrators. We hope, we just hope that the police will do something. But I'll be back here with more information. Thank you for listening and watching daily news, breaking news, everyday news. Bless up.